1962, this was a dusty, rutted desert trail stretching south towards Pakistan. Today, it's a kind of highway hell. Diminishing odds if you're driving anything less than a tank. What a nightmare cycling this way. You've got to be mad trying it on a bike. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Problems? So where are you fellows heading in? Uh, same way as you, I think. I guess. Lonely planet. Lonely planet, yes. It's a small planet. Maybe I should pull off the road, huh? Yeah. Do you have problems? No. No? No, it's just, just a take, long way to go. Huh? Just taking a leap. Taking a leap. Norwegian cyclists on their way to the Himalayas for Christmas. Finally, caught by the police with our camera out. Problem? Ah, okay, okay. But then, somehow, it was all right. Okay. Bet. Goodbye, thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Hold on. Hello. 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 Two years ago, they would have arrested us. The people we are spoken to also. <laughs> I feel exhausted just watching them. Oh no, not another one. Hello. 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 I'm a little bit dizzy, but uh, I'm not really hungry. Would you like a drink? I have water. Would you like some tea? Okay, I suppose. You <laughs> <laughs> must be Canadian. Yes. Are you? Yes. Where are you from? Yeah, it's a uh, small town east of Jasper. Yeah? Hinton? Yeah, I'm from the Saskatchewan border. Right. Directly east of you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a long way from home on your bike. Yes, it's come a long way. Where did you leave Canada from? Uh, from Hinton south to uh, Montana, uh -huh. and then to South America. And then New Zealand, Australia, 
Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, back to Thailand, China, Tibet, Nepal, India, Pakistan, and now here. Iran. Iran. Four years, two months later. Almost 80,000. 80,000 kilometers. What's, what's your average a day? Um, here in the desert, I would do 150. Yeah. It's good here. This is excellent road, too. Well, it's pretty flat. Yeah. But the pavement quality is very good. You're doing it the hard way for sure. This is pretty cushy stuff, isn't it, really? Compared to cycling. Sure. Do you get lonely? Not anymore. I like being alone. <laughs> This is excellent. I love camping out in the middle of nowhere like this. With the moonlight, it's great. But I do enjoy some conversation once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> have you been with other cyclists for, for legs of your journey? Yes. I have cycled with a lady once, and that was the nicest. Uh, cycling with other <laughs> cycling with other guys isn't so fun. <laughs> <laughs> We all suspect why, but is it, is it the reason? <laughs> no, it's just, um, it's a hard way of traveling, so you're very bitchy. And with the uh, two guys, you bitch at each other a lot, and you have... Men are such bitches. Yeah. If we had a truck full of women, oh. things would be much easier. <laughs> Andrew was saying this. <laughs> He's done a survey over we four years. years. Over four years. <laughs> and are, are you feeling you're getting ready to go home? No, I don't really have a home. I don't live in Hinton. I worked in Hinton. Oh. I have nothing there. Not even some possessions. Just friends. You know. My family lives in the east, and I don't call that home either. So. Is that so, why you're doing it? Because you have no home? No, no. I mean, <laughs> well, why are you to doing see it? the world. Well, why are you doing it? Because four years, well, five years, where you plan to be ready isn't, you know, it's a long time. And to do it on that. You're on the run, aren't you? I mean, well, that's the best <laughs> mode of transportation. Yeah, I'm on the run. <laughs> There's something out, isn't there? Oh, I love traveling yeah. by bicycle. Oh, yeah. That's not and I want to see the world. Yeah, the two enough. go together really well. You just need time, though. And I didn't want to go and do, you know, a piece here, a piece there. I wouldn't do it. I'd end up getting, like most people, stuck into a career and a wife. And <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Stop. So, <laughs> I would need to get moving. I wanted to make... 100 miles today. You know, he never told us his name. Our paths just sort of crossed for a few minutes, and that was it. I've never seen anything quite like the mud brick city on the outskirts of Bam, a 12th century masterpiece beautifully preserved and almost unknown even in Iran. Look at even the arching. As a penniless 16 year old hitchhiker, I lay by the side of the road near Bam for three days waiting for a lift and never once realized that such a place existed. Like those cold beer. I wish. Or several cold beers. Come on, sweetheart. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I think that's enough. Sorry. Right. How did you have sex in your shower? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, it was quite easy, you know. Whether Hannah and the others like it or not, the flaunting of the dress code can be extremely offensive. And the way they behave, too, is important. Well, um, we saw, um, saw shops full of lacy negligees, very kind of ornate. And also that, that knicker man, a man selling some girls some knickers, the women on our track, and showing them black lacy knickers um, with their split down the front and kind of demonstrating them for them. 
<laughs> but presumably then, their women are wearing these things underneath, underneath their shadows and having the time of their life. I hope they are. I really hope they are. <laughs> Has wearing the shador sort of given you a, a real sense of what it must be like? I mean, symbolically, it's kind of a, an imprisonment in a way, isn't it? Yeah. The first day we wore it, it freedom. I actually <coughs> felt quite um, subdued. Mm. And I, I just felt I wasn't laughing as much, and I did feel subdued. Mm. I did get used to wearing it. And... Good thing. <laughs> and I mean, is it totally impractical? <laughs> totally yeah. impractical. Yeah. Totally I think you ought to find out, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what life's like. Oh, that's mine. No, that's mine. That's mine. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> you brushed your teeth this morning, huh? <laughs> you, have to, you have to not be able to use your hands okay. for anything. There you go, that's right. the shador. Have you been planning this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Such a troublemaker. And then you have to actually. And then you have to somehow be able to get into it. And then when you need to get something out of your pocket, but it's easy for me, you see. No, squatting, squatting, no. squatting <laughs> toilet, and it's all wet. Yeah, We're falling in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> just peed all over you, to door. <laughs> and everybody will know about it for the rest of the day. It's different, isn't it? You can't gather it up. You can't, no. Well, you have to. Oh, you saw <laughs> So it's... I can't so even sit down. You know, that's right. You can't yeah, see, yeah. you're like blinkered. So yes. It's like tunnel vision. Yeah, you, know? you can't see. You take it off before you go to bed, though, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. This will Except for away. some of us. <laughs> <laughs> Reaching the 